This conference will now be recorded. Okay, <clears throat> so first tool which we are trying to know is Datadog. So, what is Datadog? Now, when we say a Datadog, uh, Datadog is a company name right now. It's a it's an organization. It's a organization which primarily uh, have this monitoring software. Now, monitoring software. Now, the question is what kind of monitoring? So Datadog has a software which is basically for uh, infra monitoring, okay. Cloud monitoring, uh, log monitoring too. <laughs> APM monitoring is also there, <clears throat> and RUM monitoring. APM means application performance monitoring. RU means real user monitoring. Okay, and we do have container monitoring and uh, security monitoring okay so a datadog has a wide variety of monitoring solutions uh, which you can see on my screen and we can use all of this but the focus is and from monitoring now for the today's session. Why is that so? Because for remaining tools, we have a different, different tool. Uh, by the way, log monitoring also. So here we are using infra for infra monitoring. But for log monitoring, we are using as part of our course, we are using Splunk and for apm we are using new relic by the way splunk and new relic two have a uh, multiple features okay so that is a thing so here these are the monitoring it's possible so these are the tools which we have new relic splunk and datadog now today now i'm going to talk about a datadog now if you go to their website, <clears throat> Datadog, see here, modern monitoring and security and product and see here, they have a different, different kind of monitoring like APM application performance monitoring, logs, RUM, network monitoring, and stuff like that. So you can see that, and they have pretty large list of integration, and that is how they, they are very popular in, in the world of monitoring. Now, here if you look at this architecture of mon uh, Datadog, architecture of share of datadog now datadog primarily is based on the cloud services it's a service based cloud service monitoring as a service like that so let me put it up monitoring as a service 
based on cloud yeah so this is uh, you don't have to install anything uh, it's a cloud based application so you just go log in and get started now agent is installed in your server installed in your server server so basically what happens let me put it up in the notepad so there's a there's a data dog cloud which is okay and from different different sources like your agent is installed in your server where you are you want to do monitoring and here agent installed here agent is installed here here agent is stored from here you send that all this stuff uh, agent send the log to this place okay on uh, this place and here you have a dashboard dashboard and all the logs is getting stored in the data log and from here you have a dashboard which you can visualize it for the monitoring reports and you know checking out and stuff like that alerts and all so everything you have in the this place only so it's become very simple to you know implement that so that is how this architecture of this now in terms of competitions a data dog has a con competition with uh, a new relic also is in same area to be honest basically nowadays all the tooling system which you, if you look at this all has a all feature but earlier when it got introduced a data dog was very strong in uh, infra and cloud monitoring and uh, so that's the reason we are using only for infra and cloud but other features if you get comfortable other features also you can use it competitor yep neuralink app dynamics nagios and many many tools like that but different different features they have but major competitions with it prometheus is very uh, very having tough competition with the data of prometheus is open source by the way so yep the the this is the data dog now directly let's jump to the some of the terminologies and then demo so i think i would like to So if you look at this here, uh, there's a website datadoghq.com. <clears throat> now here <clears throat> you have to account, you have to create account for 14 days trial account. So you can create a, any accounts for, for 14 days. It's free for 14 days, and after that this is a no credit card requirement is there, and basically you need to <clears throat> understand these terminologies agent dog stash d and matrices stash d is the older one deprecated so agent is the one which is basically you run in a server which i did discuss about in an agent you do have a dog stash d which is running as a daemon all the time and sending the data to the uh, dog stash so basically it receive the uh data from the different different sources sent to the data doc server and what what data matters is so these other terminologies you have to understand that a data doc agent uh, it can be an integration it can be doc stash d and api so these are the thing you see that this is the architecture so data doc agent is divided into three part uh collector data dog a uh, data uh, dog stash d which is optional if it is integration is possible then and forwarder and then forwarder send the data to doc stash d so there are different different uh, agent which is available for the different different platform and stuff like that okay so now let's get started with uh, 
agent. So first we'll go and enroll for it. Get started free. I have a few accounts, but I think that will not work. So let's check it out. And click on get started. Yeah. So where you want the data host housed. So you have three look two locations, US and Europe. So US. Now let's say email ID. Um, <clears throat> let's try this email ID Rajesh SCM Galaxy dot com Rajesh DevOps School. Sign. Done. <clears throat> now these are the integration is possible. So if you want to tell something which you want to monitor, you can say here like AWS, Docker, Kubernetes, all these things. I think the website is a little slow, I guess. Okay, now, <clears throat> how many servers you want to manage? Let's say five. Next. Now, this is where you can set up the agent. So, which uh, which one you want to monitor actually so here amazon planning centos stuff like that so you can select here let's say centos rhl and these are the instruction you can use it for do that so i will have to have one machine which i want to monitor so i think let's get started So let's create one <clears throat> machine. So let's go for CentOS. And here I'll go for one one CPU two GB RAM, one machine at storage. That's okay. Target this machine. I want to monitor for data dock. No view instances here. So 
this is the machine which I want to monitor. So let's log it first. And I'm going to locate the key. Here, open up. Did we have an internet network? Let me check. Yes, we have. Yeah. Now I'll make this view better. So now here EC2 hyphen user. Oh, what is this? It's a CentOS, I guess. Yeah. CentOS. So now it is a CentOS, sudo hyphen s. Now <clears throat> I will go ahead and install it. So let me close this two picture. So see here, use our steps, easy one step to install it. Or you want to upgrade from the older version of uh, Datadog agent, you can do that. So here it's a seven. This is seven. This you can upgrade it from six or five. I think this is a easy and it's a first time I'm doing so. This is okay. Now uh, I will run this. Look at this here. It says this is the one variable is being set seven. This is the DD API key. This API key is very important because this is what it communicate uh, when it send the data if api key is missing then uh, it'll not uh, collect the data forward it'll not do and this is the software which is being stored so enter and agent is being installed Okay, now you see here agent got installed. The few things information you should check it out. And so here config file. So config file is very important. Here it is, datadog.yaml. And if you want to stop and start, these are the commands which you have in there. So here, so stopping through this, starting from this. So I want to check check the status. So you see that status and now it's running you see here so datadog agent is running so now i will go ahead and click finish and this is my first data dog agent is started and it will start sending the data for the system that basic metrics here now here it is so right now you have a zero host reporting data from datadog but it will come in some time in few seconds and you'll get it 
after that what you need to do it's a very simple process here these are the steps you have to learn you start getting data after a few seconds then create a dashboard start a monitoring invite your friends colleagues and install integration and stuff like that so these are the things right now so all these things you have it the feature you have in the left side look at this here here this is the dashboard infrastructure monitoring set up a monitoring all the matrices you'll get it here integration and apm these are we are not talking about so and logs we are not talking security we are not talking x monitoring not talking okay so we'll play with these features and then get going because we are as just said right we are using <clears throat> data doc for info monitoring so we are doing the monitoring any any questions here any questions so this will be only installed in the cloud right so any infra in our on-premise how to interact how to uh, no that's nothing required nothing required uh, everything is in cloud nothing required just agent need to be installed in your machine or integrations that's all. okay and how the ports and ip will you need to change the security groups in, in your data uh, yes. yes yeah so this one uh, basically it's a outgoing connection so see outgoing so outgoing most of the time it's open right correct yeah. Any other questions, guys? So this will support all web server, database servers, everything, or just only specific? Uh, no, it supports uh, more than 500 integrations are there. So one of the integration, I will install it. I'll show you that. So uh, any any web server, any database, any as such, and stuff like that. Now you see that I waited for a few seconds. Now we got a one data reporting. So if you want to explore this, go to dashboard, infrastructure, sorry, I click on dashboard. There's a one default dashboard, you get it. But see you. So these are the four dashboard you got it. This is from the system. You can create your own dashboard here also. You can create a list also. But right now I want to go to the infrastructure. So I clicked on the infrastructure. Here it is. And I have one host reporting the data and from monitoring. It's loading. Here it is. This is my <clears throat> instance ID, which is detected by datadog now you should also check sometime this file also very important file uh, go to this location here API. you see here this is the key which has so if you want to set up a manually also you download the data dog agent then you can set up manually also. default site is data dog proxy uh, some stream parameters you have url these are so in future if the url getting changed you have to do something here but more more or less it will not be having change here see internet proxy if you think for the connecting the internet you need a proxy you can set it up here okay so like that skip ssl validation false ssl validation you want to set the host name you can set the host name so now let me set the host name this is this is centos one mm -hmm. 
and you have to restart the services after that. It can read the fully qualified domain name also, which is false. You can tag the environment. This machine belongs to what environment? So you can tag it. So this machine is belong to the dev environment. And what is that? This is like a AWS EC2 instance you tag, right? So you can tag here. So this is a web server. Uh, server and what is the server it this is a web server web server like this you can tag it and here you can set the environment also dev environment here and anything is here Warning percentile. If you want to change this number, histogram percentile, you can change this number. Okay, so so many options are given here. You have to go slowly, and each and everything you have to become here. Some of the advanced configuration sections are here. Okay, so you can change this if you want it. So yeah, this is the main thing you have to understand each and every options, everything which you have to understand. Tracing default option is been set up. So do you have option uh, to like like threshold of like putting the to CPU space RAM, so, max connections those kind. Of. Uh, that those are the monitoring things which is already enabled actually. So okay. that's a default monitoring. Let me go one more time and let's see the monitoring grip default monitor is set what i did it got stuck This is for Kubernetes, but monitoring. Those are the default agent monitoring is there. So you can enable it right now. That's already there. So you see here. Status CPU IO at load apps. So click on it here. Now this is the matrices you are getting. All these matrices you are getting. You want to have a more matrices. You can show more integrations actually. So here you have a CPU matrices. Very less utilization. Process load memory. So I need a some fake script which can create a more utilization actually. So what we do? So I had that script actually. Uh, let me check this. I have some script which is for creating fake load. Okay, right now it's not locatable. So shell command to create fake CPU load 
in Linux. So you can do something like this. and run this here it is so This is a four times you want to produce. Let's say one, two, three, four. I want to produce something better. Do we have? You can also try this one also. This is a better. This is also better. Yeah. So let's run it in the machine. So stress. I don't know whether it's there or not. No, it's not there. So yum install stress. You need to run this command before running. is getting installed it's slow today i guess more time. Hmm. It's very strange today. AWS is having this speed.
Yeah. Meanwhile, let's get comfortable with dashboard. So, yep. So I will create a memory utilizations right now. CPU ideal is 99% free 100% almost. Uh, load average is very sim small. Only 1.5%. So yeah, this let it come. Meanwhile, we'll get uh, some data. Now you want to install something else. Uh, you want to monitor something else. So this is the basic monitoring which is already in in place. So if you want to monitor something else in the agent, let's say Apache server, Tomcat server, um, uh, let's say anything, any application. So you have a more than 500 uh, integration in place. So let's go and check it out this integration. This integration is very powerful in Datadog. That's the reason many people love this. Look at this. So now if you see that so many integration are placed actually so you just name it and you have it so for example now i want to do apache monitoring here this is the one look at this here apache so i will click install now i'll get the instruction for this so here you see the apache check traces tracks uh, request per second byte served number of worker thread service uptime and uh, more so i will just uh, set up a uh, apache and then you can get going so how do you configure so first thing you have to install the apache uh, sorry agent in apache which i did it and then you have to install mod status on your apache server and enable how to enable those mod uh, you can uh, Google it also. So, so let me do that. So let's come get completed this one. Still wait. Okay. Now, in order to have the Apache, in order to have the agent understanding the logs, you have to configure the Apache con dot yaml and add this stuff. So that way it will send it. So where is this con dot yaml? You will find it uh, inside uh, agent locations. I'll show you agent configuration directory. So just wait for some time. So, huh. so now it has come. So first thing, do we have agent installed in Apache server? Yes. Now install mode status on your server enable extended status so mod status is a one of the module which you have to enable it so uh, just second okay. install mod status is one of the plugin in apache install mode stat traces so mod status is a module which will help you to do, do the module so how to install it here it is go to so first let's install apache server in this machine apache is not there so i will install yum install httpd yes yes now I installed HTTPD. Now I am installing uh, uh, a configuring uh, mode status. So to go to this location and look for the mode status, which is like this. So status module.
you see it's not there so i will check one more time no i can't find it let me try one more time so if it is not there i can introduce also see it's not there no problem so i can introduce this whole module in anywhere in the file and let's go for here only load module status module done i just enable it now you have to configure the load modules with this. So see here, patient. And you have to search for it. Location is not there. Let me check why each end is not there. So sometimes you get a lightweight Apache. That's the reason you don't get it. So what is in config? Nothing. Okay, so now I have to set that where that st server status should be there. So you have to add this entry also. So here what you are saying location at this place, what need to be sent? Server status, order allow, deny, deny from all, allow from all, all this thing you have to do that and so you have to add it in this one lip everything i will add it at one place Where is that? Hmm. So here I status here. Now uh, virtual host you have to do that. So here uh, document root, let it be that one. Virtual host 18. This is the same thing. This is the server which will be there. Okay, I have to declare in the virtual host actually, but I think this is a optional. Ah, so this is not needed because I have I'm using the default virtual host only. So that is done. Now extended status has to be on. And this is the one. And now let's restart the server so system ctl stop httpd start httpd okay status is running can it test whether that we are getting that or not so httpd hyphen t you can check the syntax now started now you should get the status at this URL, which is this one, and URL is server status. And should have a permission. Okay, I think. can call also just a second. let me first check whether it's accessible for me or not. HTTP call 
एस टी टी पी लोकल होस्ट लोकल होस्ट सर्वर स्टेटस नाउ इट्स प्रॉपर वाई दिस इज वाई गेट द परमिशन Give the permission here. Deny, allow. Okay, allow from all. Deny from all. Order, allow, and deny. Now I'm just allowed for. See, so I'm keeping simple with order allow. deny and it's allowed for all so this is this is correct uh let me check if it's running or not it's correct so here Jessica, let me search. so allow from all i said you can allow from your ip address like here say so all means it should be all just like Before visiting the gym, that have so so day. Okay, first let me check that is true. True and what is not there? This is correct. me more somewhere is blocking Hello. 
from the IP address So I just said this, let's check it out. Stop. Stop. Now let's check it out. Let's try one last time. I think you have to give your local IP, so not the server IP, if I remember, if I understood correctly. Because from here, we are trying to connect there. So it's blocking that uh, your session from your PC, it is blocking to that server. I don't know. If... But uh, I try in the local also. It's not accessible that's a problem see here let's try getting more points yeah so i tried from the local ip address it's forbidden so that is a problem so allow from what is the issue let me pause not public on granted solution status deny allow deny from all allow from let me check this is a game it's here only yet Order allow and then deny. Here deny and allow. Deny from all, allow from this. Okay, let's put it up. Allow all. Deny nothing. So for now, to allow your own computer the fixed IP, this one to allow your own computer the fixed IP only to access search network allow from deny from all this is correct actually deny allow let's change the flow first deny then allow okay deny from 5.5.5.5 something like that only from allow for all and this one okay there's a problem Change it actually. Yes, sir.
Allah. Without that, Apache will not be able to publish. Uh, the matrix that is a major problem just let's spend two more minutes if we can fix it allow deny so deny allow push it Stop. Start. Now. Hmm. Now you got it. So, what was the reason? Still, I'm not sure. Here, allow deny deny from all. Allow for example dot com. Allow, deny, deny from all, allow from all. So this should be superseded, but it's not superseded. Okay, I'll check this one later. I'll just. So Apache. Uh, Okay, so now can I access it here? Yeah. yeah, so now you see here on this lots of metrics about us uh, It started coming now if we hit the Apache so uh, Linux command to run a command in infinite loop in finite loop now just just okay so this i have to do that hmm. this i'm doing curl HTTP and Apache because to create a load then only you generate access right are you getting opens are you getting guys hello yeah 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 so this is done now i have to run this script forever in the background so vi run dot sh and done ch mode 755 run dot sh run dot sh Keep running in the background, but it didn't take the background. Okay, just like VG. Ah, I lost it. No problem. Okay, so let it run. I'll have it in a different session. Then twice sudo VG. PS hyphen here, prep run. FG, no, okay. So 
that is a thing let it run okay so no hub run okay so now it's creating the load so we will see a little bit more metrics okay yeah cpu and few things has come last time but we'll get more so now let's get into the data drop so yep you have to set up all this platform that is how it is now you have to go so first step is done second step is done now you have to inform datadog agent to take the input from the uh, from the status which is this place so this line will do that this is for the metric collection if you want to do for the log connection you can do for this one also but right now i'm not interested in the log because we we are using splunk for it so let's do the log uh, only this one now where is this file so if you look at this in linux your data dog configuration file will be inside this so let's go for this cd and here you see lots of lots of integrations are in place you need to locate the httpd so where is that httpd apache active mq active apache here it is look at this now you you must be wondering like if your tool is not there so check that integration list you have to install this new stuff yourself so apache d is there which is a well known applications so here conf.yaml auto.conf.yaml you have to these all are examples actually so you have to modify and rename that file and so you have to make it conf.yaml so cp to this one now con.yaml you got it vi open up now here you can give the proxy if you have and sockets if you have but right now uh, here it is actually it's already activated i don't have to touch it see here. server status so this line is there needed and instances is uncommented so i think it's done uh, again if you are, want to modify something else you can check it out lots of authentication option is there and for time being it's not needed and save it now we have to restart the data dog agent so for that i had a command somewhere here so uh stop start now this is also you get it done install integration and now it's done so it will take some time to get it done and see that few seconds only This is done now. So Apache is installed. You see here, messages here. Oh, messages here. Apache is installed. Now, where do we check these matrices now? So you will all these matrices like CPU, RAM, and all stuff like that. You'll go to the Max Matrix Explorer. So how do you make sure that integration is working fine or not? So matrices you'll see first all the matrices check that if it is coming or not. So I have a one node monitoring and one application which is Apache. So from last one year from last one hour, how many matrices I got it? So let's check it out. So there is nothing right now. So. Oh. Huh. 
you see here is now started coming apache so anything started with apache is apache but anything with this system like a cpu check that see this is a system this is system so system the one which you're getting these are the matrices from the agent and this is the matrices for apache so that's good you're getting the matrices now uh, let's go to the infrastructure list i want to see that utilization of host and all it's good or not because i started oh did i start it stress i think i did not start it the stress yeah sorry about this so stress i did not start it so let's do this uh i think i have a command somewhere here so now i'm creating a stress what is this i stole the stress size then get installed yum install stres okay so let's try this and see here cpu 90 98% this is the bad things right or good things inspect status up cpu see two states app is running right now and these are the system information Bit slower. Hmm. See you. So utilization is pretty high of my CPU. Almost hitting to the no ninety percent. See, so this is a good status, right? now what you want actually i want to know total http request also so if you want go to the summary of matrix and and here I want to know hits total. So I think if it is hits, I think request per second Apache net. And if you see here, this is the one matrix. Just matrix for mat this for Apache total request request i want to know the matrix for that so basically it's saying uh, uh, quickly is not coming request let's search for request for second yeah i think this is the one yep yeah. Let's check it out. Uh, explore. I think this is the one. Let me check, get it confirmed. 
because matrix is very important. I think this one, yeah. So, yep, I got this matrices which I am trying to monitor. And here, this is the one net request per second. So, let me see why this is slow. Just again, guys, I'll just unshare that screen. didn't help much okay so i got the matrix now let's create a monitor monitoring is something what you want to monitor that is important what you want to monitor so i'm creating monitor so now i'll say if the node name is having more than uh something let's say this utilization create alerts or something like that so this is a kind of monitoring i'll create it so now i'll create a monitor this is the there's no alerts there's no warning there's no data so this is the status and stuff like that let's create a monitor Okay, now what kind of monitor you want to create? So host monitor, metrics, anomaly, APM, many things are there. So I'll create a based on the host, first host and then metric. So let's say host, which host? So I have only one host right now, CentOS. Okay, and you see here that I give the environment variable, remember, tagging. So you got it. Here, this is the environment, this is the tag. You can try this. This is the tag. This is the tag. This is the environment variable. So based on the environment, based on the tag also. But right now, post. Now here, you have to set it up excluding something, but not. Check alert, cluster alert. So check alert. I'll go for this. Notify if the data is is missing for more than. Uh, I'll keep it one minute. Okay. And and here. Do you want to automatically resolve that if there's no data state? Never. For new host, wait for five seconds before evaluating this monitor. I don't have a patience who wait for five minutes. I'll put 20, 15 seconds. That's all. Now, what you want to send a moni um, monitor? So you say there's a variables. You can see, see that. Node dot name like this is down is is uh, something like that is is not doing well is not doing well whatever the things you want to do some message you have to this you can parameterize also if you want the more better in uh, how to parameterize click on this and you'll get it all the stuff and here also template variable you can use 
this one template variable yeah so so many template variables are there see here so you can do that so yep you can say what is happening it's not doing well it's not doing well and notify your team so whom you want so i'll go for myself only do not notify you want to notify the alerts uh, alert participant when alert is modified or something like that so you fill this to create a monitor so i created one monitor based on the host there's a no data frame data frame must be two minutes no data time frame must be greater than two what is this data frame why well, should be two actually minimum and save it and i create it alerts a monitor sorry so i created a monitor the moment i see that there's one monitor i created so i find really very slow i guess huh. so if that is down then it will be this is the host if host is down then i'll get the alerts understand that so it's not like the host is still running and it will get you will get the alerts i got it no so this is the node monitoring now i'll do the matrix monitor cpu and stuff like that so good See, there is no data has come, but it will come in some time. Let's create a new monitor. But for new monitor, I need a mattress. I have a mattress here. So new monitor. So this time based on the mattress. Now, which mattress? So I want this mattress. Okay. And here I say, uh, if the matrix alert threshold is, let's say, uh, trigger when this matrix is above and the threshold, during the last one minute okay now one minute if if it is a more than alert threshold 30 let's say 30 then it's a 30 request per second uh, i think not possible one one request per second request per second warning let's have a two one okay and alert threshold recovery threshold i don't want to set require full window everything is okay apache is having some problem i'm just not putting right a message some problem I have to generate more things now notify what rajesh and so what i said alert threshold two requests per second warning one request per second so save it this is the one now i have to generate a little bit more alerts by the way i mean hit curl curl request so send twice and sudo cp run 
to run one no hub run one dot sh ampersand this one. okay done so now you see here you got the threshold breach actually it's more than so here you see manage monitor and alerts i have not created warning i have not created but reporting so if you see that has breached that so you will get created in a two window windows is there right remember so see the node is okay apache is having no data right now so it will come but meanwhile i'll create a cpu one so let's create one more new monitor based on metrics my cpu utilization Yes, sir. Retain that. So let's create one more last one. Based on the this time CPU, because I'm hitting the CPU more than 80% CPU. So it should be CPU idle. Or I owe it soul and CPU system. Okay. So set alerts if average. Okay. It should be CPU, I think, idle. Let me check that. I'm not able to recall the metric name. So I'll go to the infrastructure. Okay, guys, just again, let me pause this recording and let me fix this. Up. This yeah. conference will now be recorded. Now, if you see here, send to S1, I need the exact metrics, which is I want to monitor it. Damn slow, I guess. Hmm. See that lots of data is coming, but if you see, uh, CPU dot idle is a matrix right now. So based on that, I want to create a monitor. Let's say create a new monitor. Click metric. CPU dot idle. Now if I say CPU dot idle uh, is ever when average for one minute. Okay. Alert threshold, if it is more than 50%, then alert 40%, then it's a threshold. Now, I'll let it be rest of the options. CPU is high, very bad monitoring message, but just for the visualization quickly. And notify Rajesh, save it. 
so now we have created we have added infrastructure also see that we have added in, uh, integration also we have added monitoring also alerting is also done now we have to create a dashboard see that cpu is in a red zone already here so that is the thing so now go for monitoring manage monitoring and you see here apache has reached the threshold cpu is having no data node is up and running that's the reason you are not having and finally you can create a dashboard so you can create a new dashboard based on the new timeline board new screen board this is first screen for the uh, custom drag drop and all like big screen here timeline dashboard let's create this uh, i created rise time board now here you have to add a graph so keep adding graph depends on whatever you feel like uh, what is a cpu value so you can put it up you can give the matrix name and see cpu user per or anything else also you want to give cpu idle 57 point so this way you can create a dashboard and add graph let's say add graph let's say number one more number request you want to know how much request for apache apache request per second see 91 request per second i'm getting apache and you want to add few more things uh time series memory utilization you want to check uh, memory uh Raj, if suppose we have multiple servers so will you give like server, server by metrics or ah yes yes like? it will ah yeah it will give you the server wise there was a tagging remember multiple tagging that way also mm -hmm. so like yeah, see memory so you can keep, keep, keep creating as many you want it so nodes top list that's a top process you want so so here see here. there's a lots of things are here i don't know whether so you have to spend lots of things are there here you look at this here so lots of things are there top list of uh, process uh, what is the list of process so you can say live process hmm. apache okay let's only create top process not getting data but it will come some data sometime. So this is the way you can create a hell lot of things you have it and get going. Did you understand this? Now you see here, this is a just a small thing. So many options is here. Now if I go to the get started, I did here, I did here, I custom matrix, three integration not did, I did one and created a dashboard. Now you have to finish editing. This is also done. Now I've got the dashboard list. And dashboard is also done. 
so now only the thing is this one and this one. and you must be seeing that you started getting a notification uh, alerts so see let me refresh it see here alerts i started getting see this is alerts so this is the way uh, you work with datadog you know lots of things are there uh, lots of things are there and then get going any any questions guys any questions anusha there are many but yes after getting hands on only we can add yeah so there is no installation stuff is there so i think you can enjoy there's are no problem in it uh, it's a cloud based application so lots of features are more than 500 integrations are available for this mahavir no oh, thank you uh, no peter one question so in the past we have used a application called grafana so earlier that was like there you have your on prem server and agent was installed so same concept the only difference i see it is more use data log is more user friendly it is cloud based is is my understanding correct yeah 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 grafana most of the time we use for the in house dashboarding solution and uh, most of the time grafana is very good with uh, prometheus we we combined it uh, mm -hmm. so yeah Uh, datadog is completely software as a service uh, so mm -hmm. in a grafana you have to take care of the installation configuration ha high availability everything so here i did not do anything just focus on the work that's all any other major benefit in datadog which is not there in grafana for example uh one of the, see grafana is a dashboard understand that it's just a dashboard it's not a monitoring solution datadog mm -hmm. is a monitoring solution entire your dashboard is a one part of it mm -hmm. and uh, grafana has a uh, the integration also yeah uh, but datadog also has a integration uh, uh, datadog has a more than 500 integration which is not available in any tools in terms of monitoring domain so far now let me tell you here when i say integration basically uh, datadog has made this all this monitoring every tools and services very easy whereas other tools like if you use a prometheus for monitoring little bit you know uh, configurations more than the datadog so those are the things automation has not is, been done okay and what is this apm one this is the apm thing what the ah, apm so application or something different no datadog offers uh, all sort of monitoring including okay. I, i showed you infra monitoring right now yeah. but also support apm performance monitoring and a logs mm -hmm. monitoring also you see here logs monitoring mm -hmm. security monitoring ux this is called ru uh, ux rum real user mm -hmm. monitoring and uh, apm monitoring So these are the different different kind of monitoring which we have earlier uh, uh, datadog was not into that but because they wanted to have a complete monitoring solution so they added it but for apm we are we are covering in our course new relic and for okay. log we are covering uh, splunk and security monitoring is not a part of it ux monitoring is not a part of it okay thank you uh sanjeev naik yeah mm. yeah yeah like okay. uh, i don't have much hands on in this so i don't know um, i just learning new so i don't have much uh, doubts so i am also very new to this develop so i don't have explain more i have only few tools explain so sanjeev naik is new yeah uh, sayar sayar yeah yes so i have one question so can we uh, collect data from more sources like uh, grafana is supporting uh, data sources like prometheus uh, 
and the collector d and the also the data dog is also supported in grafana can we uh, add uh, more sources to data dog also yeah uh, only one so agent is there no 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 i said right it's a paid software it's not a free software it's a paid software so can we support data dog or can we support any other tool so i would say i i said already 500 different apis easily integration is available so just name it in you have an integration list for example i clicked here you see here you can install multiple agents here you can monitor through apis also and integration is also possible so let me show you the your preferred one integration which i can show you just i'm not sure what what is causing this speed i'm just doubting it's my vpn or maybe something else huh. so which application you want to uh, uh i want uh, data from influx db then is there actually influx influx here just data dog influx dev and here you actually it's not a data collector it's a data storage uh, i want to use it for only dashboard purpose as a data source okay you okay 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 wait a second you don't want to monitor the database you want to get the data which is in time series and showcase yes. on data dashboard no no, no. so that uh, i think is not possible because data dog will get you the data only which is stored in the data dog database yeah. yeah 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 so that is not possible but you can monitor the influx dv process id and all stuff like that so okay that is that is possible So data, uh, in flush DB is a kind of data which which store the time series data, right? Like from yes. Prometheus and yeah. yeah. So data store. Yeah. Any other things which you want to do? Mm. So if I have a private network, then how can I? Means I have no internet connectivity. Uh, so if there's no internet connectivity is no data at all, but there are some solution which is there uh, Create a proxy uh, gateway and stuff like that. So proxy if, uh, yeah, 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 gateway so here data doc provides something like uh, Let's say this is your private network. There's no internet, but there is a one machine has to be internet so this will send all the data to this and from here it can send to the so that can be set it up yeah. more questions guys and does it support for oracle or ms sql server postgres kind of services oh uh, yeah these all will be there i think and flash db also should be there i couldn't find out quickly see my sql yes. yeah. oracle uh, oracle c okay. ms sql MS SQL is not found over, but there's a ways to get it done. Something, let's say, if there's no uh, integration available, so there's an alternative way like a process monitoring, stake monitoring, infra monitoring, all these things you can get it done. Okay, guys, so I was supposed to have one Splunk also, but uh, I think I'll postpone for the weekdays, Wednesday. And I will have it uh, on Wednesday and we'll have a Splunk on Wednesday, which is log monitoring. And then last one, New Relic, which is we'll have on a Saturday, next Saturday, uh, uh, APM. Okay. So can we wrap up this? Uh, what about Ansible? 
Ansible we have covered, right? Yeah. No, I think in our case, we haven't covered okay. it. Okay, so then we will cover on Sunday. Okay. No, it will take it Saturday only. So Saturday will take Ansible and Sunday will take a, a new relic. Oh, sorry. I think for this batch we not cover. Okay. It was running last week only, but for different people. Yeah. yeah okay, so guys, we have Terra, Terraform also. Terraform, yeah, Terraform is last. Terraform is last. Nagios we don't have. That's where the data dog we had. Okay. Okay, guys. See you uh, Wednesday. Bye, everyone. Okay.